Yo, what up? Welcome back to another episode of your cat's favorite YouTube show. So I asked you all on Instagram and YouTube to send me your questions and you made me proud. I got over three of them, so I'll try to answer them all in this video. But before we hop into the q and I thought it'd be cool to do a little bit of a channel update because it's a new year, which means new me. Just kidding, I'm still the same a-hole that I used to be, except maybe now I'll eat a salad once in a while. Not much will change with this channel in 2020 uh, because I'm afraid of change and hopefully you are too. And that's why this semi-abusive channel audience relationship works. I have a uh, new camera that I wanna start a series about. So that's exciting, I guess. I won't tell you just yet what camera it is. Feel free to guess in the comments, but just know I'll be laughing my ass off at how wrong you are. Unless you're one of the two people I've told via Instagram DMs, in which case you're either the Pope or Rosie O'Donnell. Here's a little hint for you. I don't think there's too much content for this camera on YouTube yet. That's right, it's the RZ67. I've already got a few travel plans for next year, so you can bet your sweet Leica M6 loving ass that I'll be making videos about those as well. More reviews are coming. Um, I think I'll finally do a Contax T2 review. I'll also probably do another 10 questions video because they're a lot of fun to do, um, even if they don't quite get a whole lot of engagement. I also picked up two very unique rolls of film recently, which I'll be sure to do reviews on as well. One of them is a .06 ISO film, so you already know it's perfect for shooting handheld at night. I've been selling off some cameras lately yeah I know that hurts to hear but I won't lie to you drinking does help it's just hard saying goodbye to your child I mean camera in exchange for money in 2020 I'll be getting some new gear as well like a new scanner oh boy a new scanner you're probably saying you're damn right but yeah I think that about wraps it up if there's anything you'd like to see from this channel in 2020 let me know in the comments all right, let's do this Q&A so I can go drunkenly watch some eBay bids and send threatening messages to scare off other bidders. All right, this will be fun. Let's see what we got. Why don't you take good photos? Off to a pretty good start. Does Monica really love you or is she with you because of your Contax T2 and that fabulous Fuji inflatable blimp? Uh, yeah, she's mostly with me for the Contax T2. She's pretty superficial like that. Can you describe each shade of Jason? No. How much grain is in your diet? How big is it and why? What condoms do you use on your lens or do you just shoot raw? These questions are stupid. What weighs more, Baxter or your Pentax 6x7? The Pentax 6x7. <laughs> why did you start shooting in the first place? Finally, a normal question. I answered this on the Analog Talk podcast, but essentially I started shooting film because uh, my buddy Caleb pretty much convinced me to. Does having the Leica M6 mean you're the best photographer? Uh, it doesn't mean you're the best, but it means you sure have some style. More Baxter when. The camera stuff isn't all that important anymore. Yeah, I know, he's the star of the show for sure. What's your favorite color? The color of money. As I'm sure we're all wanting to know, is pineapple allowed to go on pizza? It shouldn't be. Why can't left-handed people use right-handed scissors? Whoa. Um, I'm left-handed. I've always been able to use scissors, but I use it in my right hand, so. How much grain do you like on your images on a scale from sweet, sweet lube to sand stuck between your cheeks after a long day at the beach? Uh, definitely the second one. I love that kind of grainy look that reminds you of like having sand in your butt crack. I recently bought my girlfriend and I our first film cameras, a Yashica and a Nikon point and shoot. Should I christen the cameras with good quality film or just grab the cheaper stuff? Probably start with the cheaper stuff. I would probably start with like Fuji C200 or uh, Kodak Color Plus because those are pretty good, I think. Are you my dad? Son? What is your opinion on Kodak's 15 to 30% rise in price for film? Will it hurt the community or benefit it? Um, it sucks. Yeah, I think it'll suck for um, new photographers, you know? When they realize how expensive it is to get into film photography, that might be kind of like an issue. If you were to throw your Pentax 6x7 at a brick wall, would it go through the wall completely intact or would it bounce off with minor damages? It would definitely go through the wall, dude. Snickers or M&Ms? M&Ms, all day, for sure. Especially the pretzel M&Ms and the crispy M&Ms. What do you think of Voigtlander? Um, I only have one Voigtlander lens that I was using on my Leica M3 for a while. Some of the images were kind of soft, but there was like a focusing issue with that particular Leica. I think the jury's still out on that for me. Do you even photo, bro? I photo all day, every day, bro. What is the role of Baxter in your channel? He's the star. Is it true George Muncy is being locked up in your basement? 
I feel like if George ever watches one of my videos, he's gonna be so creeped out. If Shrek shot film, what kind of camera, film stock, and subject do you think he would shoot? I feel like Shrek would be a pinhole kind of kind of guy. Film stock, probably Fuji Pro 400H, you know, to get those nice uh, swampy greens. And what would he shoot? Probably portraits of donkey. Can you share your editing process? No, but there might be a video on my channel about that. Are you going to do any camera unboxing? Yes, actually. I'm gonna be getting some new cameras in 2020. You mentioned using Nuke in your video about how you made your photo book. Do you have a history in visual effects slash compositing? Yes, you could say I have a history in it. It's my job. Been doing film and photography in general for a year. My daily has been a Pentax K1000. I wanna step up my game and I feel like the Nikon F100 is that next step. Would you agree? I've never shot with the Nikon F100, so I don't know. Uh, Nikon did make a lot of really good 35 millimeter cameras though. What makes you getting good at photography? I think once you find your style and you kind of learn to like not give a shit if other people like it, then that's when you get good. Any regrets now that you've been shooting film? The only regret I have is that I didn't save the actual negatives from when I first started shooting film. My first like five rolls that I ever shot, I don't have the negatives for them. So I can't, you know, I can't rescan them or re-edit them. They're just gone. I have digital like copies from the lab I was using at the time. Otherwise they're, you know, they're lost to the void. If you could have one useless superpower, what would it be uh, to never have to wipe again? What should someone do against a creative block? This might be bad advice, but uh, try a different camera or uh, try a different lens. So like I was shooting with a 35 millimeter lens. To change it up every now and then, I'll shoot with like a 50 millimeter and that kind of makes me think a little bit differently. All right, Instagram questions. Are you ready kids? What do you do for a living besides make dope pictures? I'm a uh, visual effects compositor. So I work on TV shows, movies, sometimes commercials, sometimes uh, music videos, but mostly TV. If you could only shoot uh, one film stock for the rest of your life what would it be probably portra 400 name a camera you'll always want but you will never buy yeah i answered this on the analog talk podcast as well is there anything that you're lusting after that you haven't had the chance to own or shoot yeah there is one mm, there's um, always one. <laughs> i don't think i'll ever own it mm -hmm. it's so hasselblad makes the the 500 series cameras Yes. Um, but they made a limited edition gold version of it. Ooh. I'll leave a link in the description. Is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Lucas. Mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horseradish is not an instrument either. Have you been naughty or nice? Well, I did a lot of volunteer work this year, but I also burned down an orphanage, so I think it kind of evens out. If a car is going the speed of light, what happens when you turn the headlights on? I don't know, Brendan. I'm not a f***ing physicist. I'll email NASA for you. How old were you when you started photography, adventure, and where do you get your inspiration? I guess I was 20, 24. One of my biggest inspirations is uh, Edward Hopper. Answer yes if you've done any of the following homicide, vehicular manslaughter, or accidentally opened your camera without winding the film. Yes, all the above. If you ever wanted to use a camera as a murder weapon, what camera would you use? Easy, the Pentax 6x7, because I have murdered people with that. Can we just come out to people? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Caleb. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you scan your negatives yourself or let a disgusting lab take care of it? I let a disgusting lab run their filthy fingers all over my negatives. If your vision was a film stock, which one would you choose? Also, which one do you think it actually is? If my vision was a film stock, it would be Lomachrome Purple. I should probably see a doctor. Why Shrek? Because it's the greatest movie ever made. Do you ever shoot one roll twice? Like double exposure? No, I've never done that. What advice do you have for a photographer who wants to make their first zine? I'm probably not the guy to ask for this. I would say just like make sure you have a really rock solid idea idea and uh, make sure it's something you want to make because it's kind of a long process. Would you ever make videos about digital photography and digital cameras in the same way you make them about film photography? Yeah, uh, no, probably not. What's a good way to get accurate slash consistent exposures for film and digital? If you shoot raw with digital, you can save a lot of your uh, shot in uh, post-processing. For film, if you're having trouble getting the right exposure, maybe buy a light meter. Favorite type of cheese? Uh, spicy pepper jack. Are you interested in making another book? If so, what's sort of theme would it follow. So my buddy pitched this idea for a book or zine or something like that. I think it might be something we end up doing for sure. It's really cool. It's a really cool idea. I'm curious about your scan setup. I think I remember you converting negatives in a past video. Yeah, I scan with the Epson V550, but I scan them as positives. So I get the negative image and then I convert it with a negative lab pro in a Lightroom. Portra 160 versus Portra 400. Definitely Portra 
400. Who do you have to kill slash rob to get your hands on all that? Sin is still goodness. Uh, you don't have to kill anyone, but um, Sin is still is available once again as of uh, December 2019. What's your favorite camera and lens combo in your collection? Probably the Pentax 6x7 and the Takumar 105 F 2.4. You can't beat it. Do you think you floss enough? Uh, my dentist certainly doesn't think so. Where is your humor from? It's from a general lifetime of depression and trauma. What's your favorite subject matter and why? Things that are kind of separated from the, you know, from the herd. I guess. Yeah, lamp posts. I boy, I saw you doing some 3D stuff in your videos, some octane and particle simulations. Also a DreamWorks sweatshirt. Are you a 3D artist at DreamWorks? Nope. I wish. Since starting photography, have you noticed an increase in your monthly high five average? No. Yeah, my high five average is pretty low actually. When did you get into shooting medium format and what is a good beginner medium format camera? When did I get into it? I got into it probably six months after I started shooting 35 millimeter film and uh, a good starting medium format camera probably be the Mamiya RZ system. A lot of people shoot that. There's a lot of good content on YouTube. What's your favorite photo you've taken in the past year? What format do you prefer, 135, 120, or 4x5? Well, I've never shot 4x5, probably 120, because the resolution is insane. Can you make a full video on metering as a recent analog recruit? I'm finding it to be the most daunting part of shooting. Yeah, if that's something you guys would be interested in, I can do a, a video about how I meter. I don't know if it's the right way to do it. How long uh, into scanning as measured by number of rolls scan does it take for you to be so bored your eyes just glaze over and stare off into the abyss of life's nothingness? Scanning is a very long process sometimes. How much beer does it take to convince yourself you have talent? A lot of beer, a lot. It's nearly 2020, why is Monica stuck behind the camera and never featured in a video? Because it's a film photography channel and she doesn't shoot film, but she is very nice and does help me shoot a lot of my videos. So thank you, Monica. What is Baxter? Where can I get one? We don't really know. He was a rescue. Uh, so we think he's somewhere between a Corgi, Australian cattle dog, and a turkey. So the question is, what do you think about film simulation on digital camera? I don't know, that's a weird one. I guess I don't have any issue with it. I find it hard to believe that they're able to 100% accurately simulate the look of film. How do you prepare photos for printing? Also, how do you handle the disappointment when you see them but have to act positively towards the lab employees because it's your own fault and not theirs? I feel like you're telling a personal story and not so much asking a question. No, I think the way that I prepare my photos for printing is just I check the histogram and make sure everything is good. You know, there's nothing too dark or the histogram's not leaning, you know, one way or the other. Your A7 setup in the Iceland video. It's a uh, Sony A7 R2. Do you also hate on T-Max like everyone else or would you give it a shot? I've never shot T-Max, but I'm open to trying it. Hey, did you remove the video with the electric forest? I did. Felt like it wasn't that good of a video. Sorry, if that was your favorite. Best meme format of the decade. This is a hotly debated issue right now. How did you get into analog photography? Show us your favorite photos you've ever taken. Okay, I'll throw some up on the screen right now. How did you master the shutter ninja stance? It just came naturally, man. You know, everyone's got a different stance for sure. You just gotta find what works for you. If lo-fi beats to study to didn't exist and YouTube's copyright police didn't exist, what music would you use for your videos? Probably a lot of Taylor Swift. Oh, okay, so if the house was on fire and you had to save one thing, what would it be? Well, assuming Monica is conscious and safe, I would uh, save Baxter. But if you mean like a camera, probably the Mamiya 7 because they're fucking expensive and I don't wanna buy another one. If you could rid the world of one thing, what would it be? Calories. What's a camera you've always wanted to try slash own and would you drink any beverage of your choice out of a homeless person's go-to cup? The cup could be used for, for change or other reasons you'd never know. Okay, so what's the camera you've always wanted? I've always wanted an X-Pan. Yeah, X-Pan, for sure. I would drink out of a homeless person's uh, cup. Unless it smelled like shit, then you know like they're using it to shit in. I wouldn't drink out of that for an X-Pan. No, it's not worth it. Well, that was fun. I got to answer questions for about an hour while you sat there silently as the unknown and mysterious viewer who watched me creepily on your computer. Anyway, I will see you all on the next video, which will be a ectochrome video. So I asked y'all on Instagram and YouTube to send me your questions and... Scared the f out of me.